Hi there. Welcome back. It's Ryan Anderson with the Anderson Group and Your Real Estate Matters here in Denver, Colorado. And today I wanted to talk about the first year, year one, that you own your new home. What do you do year one? What should you do year one? Let's talk about it. So you just bought your next home. Maybe it's your first home. Maybe you've owned homes in other places, but it's year one, day one. What should you do? Well, you never know how long you're gonna stay in a home, right? Some people say 20 years. Some people say this is my forever home. Some people say, this is gonna be my three or five year home. I don't know how long you know this job's really gonna last, so I'll maybe stay here for three or five years. So what should you do to really bulletproof your home so that it's ready in case you do need to move or you're planning to move in three to five years. Year one, what do you do? First off, get a home warranty because most of the things that go wrong in a house happen in the first two to three years. First year, second year, third year. And you know, you're looking at air conditioners, furnaces, um, electrical uh, appliances that just got beat up on the la from the last homeowner. So get a home warranty. They're like $500 for a year and they cover over so many things. I, I, I save like $3,000 a year using a home warranty on, on our houses. The second thing you wanna think is cosmetic. You know, big ticket items are covered by the home warranty. Cosmetic things aren't covered by a home warranty. So paint, gosh, could you paint the outside for a good price? Could you do it yourself? Could you have fun doing it yourself or hire somebody to do painting? painting the inside to give it that fresh coat that looks good, but also preserves the wood. It preserves the, the structure. It preserves it from rodents getting in and, and deterioration from the sun. So get paint on the outside immediately year one. Second thing you wanna do year, or third thing you wanna do year one is look at the kitchen and the bathrooms. Because right now they might be out of date, and if they're out of date and you don't know when you're gonna move the next time, the best thing to do would be starting to put money into the things that are most important to homeowners, which is kitchen and bathrooms. So whether it could be the flooring, the countertop, the cabinets, whether it's the mirrors, whether it's the paint, doing kitchen and bathrooms right off the bat would be a great use of your time and your money. And then the fourth thing would be the exterior maintenance, the outside because those take like three, four years to grow. You plant a tree and it looks so small, but in three years, it's gonna be beautiful and blooming. Bushes, flowers, grass, landscaping, and making it more of a, um, I, I do this, it's more of a curvy feel instead of say maybe rigid lines or old school design. You could create new designs with your grass and let it grow and blossom. So those four things I'll leave you with right there from home warranties to doing paint, to doing kitchen and baths, to start off with that as early as you can, uh, bit by bit, and then landscaping on the outside would be the, the four top things I would do year one to really bulletproof your house and get it set up for long-term success. Hope that helps. Have a great rest of your day and I'll look forward to talking to you soon. Bye for now.